Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So this video is honestly a lot of fun to make. We're doing a breakdown of all rating methods, everything that damages structures, everything like that. No reason to wait. Let's get right into it. We're talking about a regular charge here. It's going to rip right through that wood wall in one shot. Make sure it didn't damage the other structures around it. We're good to go on that. But a metal wall gonna go through it so we're gonna need two charges on a metal wall we better check to see what this one was at it got it down to 55 percent so that's 45 percent damage what one two two charges aren't taking out a wall now a metal wall so it looks like it takes three charges per metal wall so if you're doing metal walls I mean, if you're destroying a base with metal walls, make sure you have a dragon fang with you to finish off that last 10%, because otherwise that is a waste of that third charge. That is for sure. Interesting. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is dragon fang. We're going to blast through this guy right here. See how many shots it takes. Oh my goodness, that took a lot of shots. Here, so what is that? Uh, 74. Is that right? Yep, 74 shots to destroy a metal wall without repairing it and starting from 100%. Now we're at 90%, so we're going to switch it out. Let's go try a wood wall real quick. So 76 shots to destroy a metal wall. Uh-oh, we don't have one. We got to go all the way over here. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> 15 shots about? I don't know. I think we destroyed it a little prematurely. We could try again here. So, it actually... Let's see. First one took 15 shots, it'd be 35. Okay, so it is 15 shots. All right, so that's pretty good. So if you're going through wood walls, the dragon fang is a good call. A quick note, a lot of things have changed when it comes to raiding. Nykarev no longer damages structures. It's been that way for a while, so the thing is pretty much garbage now. Um, we don't like it. <laughs> we wish it still damaged structures, but it is what it is. All right, let's go to some more interesting things. We have a bed here just in case things do not go well. Um, we have a landmine. It's a hundred percent. Oh. Ah! Okay, so it actually does sixteen percent on a wood wall, which isn't terrible. I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. All right, now we have a claymore. Are we not going to be able to pass in front of it? Same thing, 14%. So both these are 80... Oh, no, wait. So this one was 16% for the landmine. Claymore was 14%. But also, maybe I didn't have the Claymore pressed up against it far enough. But it is definitely not a good rating method. <laughs> All right. Um, now we can try something a little more interesting. we got rocket launchers going on here. So rocket should really easily destroy this yeah it's like it never existed let's go try it on metal all right we have a hundred percent metal wall right here and now it goes down to 45 so the same as a charge oh no 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 yeah yeah same as the charge it does 45 damage 45 percent damage to a metal wall Ooh, took a little damage there yeah so you better have a dragon fang ready to finish off that wall all right, we're going to try the precision charge on a metal wall here. Does the same dang amount. Look at that. So dumb. Okay, next let's do one I'm really excited about. It's the explosive arrow. So we're going to load the explosive arrow in here. Make sure this guy's 100%. Yep. It does 11%. That is terrible. All right, Matamoras, how much does it do per shot? 7%, that's not terrible. Echo, which takes ra er, high cal ranger. Let's go to do one. Eight, that's not terrible. All right, Desert Falcon doesn't even damage it. I thought it used to, but it certainly doesn't now. 
All right, we're running out of things to try. This wall's at 100%. We're gonna drop a, a makeshift vehicle here. It didn't do anything. Exploding vehicles don't damage the structure anymore? I thought they did. All right, guys, we had some fun. It doesn't look like it restores. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like it destroys um, structures, so that's sad. We're going to try one more thing here. Can our body destroy it? 89%. Let's go, boy. <laughs> I love the gum so much. It's such a troll thing. All right, so is that 89%? No, it says 69%, so that's 20%. Wait a minute. Is this actually a viable rating method? Let me do some uh, some calculations here real quick, boys, and I'll be right back. Whoops. Sorry, guys. So I thought that uh, the chewing gum was made with raw explosives, but it's actually made with a demolition charge, <laughs> so it's definitely not worth it. The gum does 20% damage to a wood wall, and the... Uh, Demolition charge does 45%. No, that's not true. 45% to a metal wall. So yeah, it's just obviously not worth it. <laughs> Still a funny idea though. Okay, we have hatches. One charge should blow it. Yep, the hatch is gone. All right, guys, got the normal door with the dragon fang. Let's see. It does 10%. What does it do on these? So actually, the door is weaker than the doorway. So it only takes 11 shots to go through a door, but it takes 15 shots to go through a wall or a doorway. So if you're using a dragon fang on a wood base that has normal doors, you actually might be better off just blowing out all their doors. That's very interesting. All right, guys. So yeah, one charge is going to go right through that door. It is gone. But if we have a vault door like this one, first of all, when you put a charge on it, it looks like a keypad. Um, Swish taught me that. Was it Swish? No, it was Cultist. Cultist taught me that. Super funny. Um, and it's just kind of standing there in the center of it when you when you open it. But this shouldn't blow through it. So it's at 54%. So yeah, it's actually... Wow. So it is going to take three charges to blow through a vault door in this method also. So interesting thing though, a wooden wall is a lot stronger than a regular door, but a vault door is about as strong as a metal wall. Slightly, slightly less. Okay, 62%. Ouch. There's a... Okay, what's well, that 62%? Now it's at 40%, so that's 22. So this is at 86%. Dang it all. All right, let's try this one more time. 67%. Gosh, the range on that thing is ridiculous. Okay, 67%, so it does 22% damage to a wood wall. So just like the sticky grenade. All right, let's try an actual frag grenade. It's at 45% right now. Okay, so a grenade does 10. Okay, 35. Nothing takes forever to explode. What? Alright guys, so the makeshift grenades do not damage structures. It's gonna have some splash damage to it. 35. Oh. 35, so that's 25, 10, 16. For the Shadow Stalker 2. Alright, we got another one. So this one's at 69. So that's what? 22? That's not very good. Okay, these things suck at rating 2. I guess the Shadow Stalker 2. Ow! Ow! Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> Alright, guys. So what did we learn today? Um... Well, first of all, we learned that if you're on a if you're attacking a wooden base with a dragon fang, target the door first unless you can blow in through the roof or something and blow multiple rooms at once, then it might be worth it to go through the roof. 
We also learned that if you're raiding a metal base, you better have a Dragon Fang because it's going to take three charges per wall, three charges per vault door. And so if you don't have a Dragon Fang to finish off that last 10% of the door, you're going to have to use three charges per door, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, what else did we learn? All right, we kind of forgot about doing storages. We're just going to do lockers and... Uh... Okay, so that took it down to 17%. So one more would do it. Um, we're just going to try wardrobes and uh, lockers because everything else is kind of not that interesting to me. All right, 100%. 17%, so... Oh, that was at 17%. So it does the same amount. Okay, we got to make sure we don't use this one for what we're doing here. All right, now let's do the next thing which is dragon fang it should take the same amount let's see took 40 shots chuck this one because now it's hurt took 40 shots okay so they take exactly the, they, they have the exact same amount of uh hit points so it doesn't really matter how you do it. It takes 40 shots with the Dragon Fang to destroy a locker, or it takes two charges. I would say that Dragon Fang is probably better for that, just because uh, it leaves it at, like, what was it, like 14% or something like that if you're using charges, and then you're kind of just wasting that second charge. If they're clustered, of course, use charges. If they're not, maybe a Dragon Fang. Um, we can talk about loot rooms a little bit. How do you find loot rooms? Well, I mean, you can go to the center of their base and try to go all the way down if it's a larger base. Um, like start from the top generally that's how I would say to start start from the top and blow down through the center and if you don't find anything in there then start going outwards but be very careful if you don't have a whole lot of raiding gear because if you're going from the top down you could get stuck inside their base if you run out of charges or whatever you're using to raid so make sure you have enough to blow out the side of the base and escape before you run out of <laughs> raiding supplies otherwise that's going to be a really awkward uh confrontation when they come log in and you're chilling in their base and can't escape um chances are you'll just starve to death or something but still pretty terrible you'll lose all the gear that you got from raiding and you'll lose your raiding well i guess you're out of raiding gear but it's just not a good situation you guys get what i'm saying all right that's all i can really think of for raiding i mean there's not a whole lot else to talk about i mean if you're blown into a room Make sure you're not standing too close to that room. Go back as far as you can and be prepared for a possible sentry in there. Uh, it's a really easy way to die to a sentry is to be like too close while you're blowing into another room. Sentry's in there and immediately just shotguns you to death or something. So try to maintain a decent distance when you're blowing into new rooms. If you can blow um, from the top of the room, it's harder for the sentry to see you and can run behind the sentry um, and hopefully shoot it. So that's why I like blowing from the top as well. Uh, if you're doing a tower base, then you definitely have to go from top to bottom. You can't go from bottom to top on a tower base like the one I'm building in my vanilla series. Um, if it's a water base or a sky base, um, there's going to be claim flags. So you're going to have trouble with your oxygenator. So your options are to either find their oxygenator um, and turn it on. If they have the whole area claimed, that is. If they don't have the whole area claimed, then you can place your own oxygenator and turn it on. But if they have the whole area claimed, you're going to have to get some type of vehicle that you can put an oxygenator on um, and drive that vehicle or um, fly that vehicle to their base, whatever it is. You know, if it's a, if it's a sky base, you're going to need a, a plane or a helicopter. If it's a um, water base, you're going to need a boat. But at the end of the day, you can usually bust stuff out quick enough where you can find the oxygenator and things will be okay and if you're doing a sky base uh, i mean just build a structure up to the top of their sky base put an oxygenator on top of that and you can go back and forth between their base and your oxygenator to um, prevent yourself from dying uh what else we could talk about very 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 large bases like mine where loot is so spread out that's probably not worth raiding I mean, it's probably just not worth raiding. <laughs> you can like blow in there every now and then if you have extra charges, but generally on very, very large honeycombed bases, you will not make a profit or even get close to making a profit. You'll all probably end up with a bunch of junk. So don't raid me. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. I rambled and rambled and rambled. It's just there's so much when it comes to raiding. And a lot of the stuff we did today was boring and we didn't find anything. All those grenades and things were crap. The landmine didn't do anything. Pretty boring stuff, but it's good to know. I hope you guys learned something here. Um, 
while we experimented with rating, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.